David Hack's Saltwater Ventures is being brought to you by Tano Beach Resort and Clubs, Bahamas Air, and by the Flamingo Hotel, Lukaya Water Sports and Tours, Tano by the Sea Restaurant, and Rum Runners Bar. Dave arrived via the Tano Beach Bus and was greeted by Mario Bodner, the project director. Good to see you and meet you. Welcome, welcome. I'm uh, anxious to see the property. Thank you so much. Mario, thank you. Appreciate it. Good to have you here. Well, we're glad to be here, and we're looking forward to a really nice stay, all right, for the rest of the week. And I appreciate it. And I'll be in touch with you throughout the week on activities and everything, okay? Absolutely. All right. All right. All right. Tano Beach Resort and Club sits on 17 acres of Sandy Beach Front Bliss and was founded by Arne Peterson. Arne became the single largest owner of timeshare properties on Grand Bahama Island. In 1977, he moved to the Bahamas and became totally assimilated in the Bahamian culture and its way of life. In 1991, he was granted Bahamian citizenship. The Marlin has three unit types, a studio, one bedroom with Bahama room, and a one bedroom on the top floor with all the comforts of home. They have full kitchens with stainless steel appliances and master bedrooms and living areas that have been tastefully furnished with beautiful wood furniture. Here at Tano Beach, they offer the glass bottom boat uh, tour and it's out here on a reef and there are uh, sharks, which are lemon sharks and uh, black tip sharks. There's a lot of tropical fish. There's a couple of reefs that you can look at. Uh, the water is very shallow. Also, they'll take you over the top of a uh, sunken tugboat. So it's one of the things you should do while you're here at Tano Beach. If you've never been in a glass bottom boat, now's your chance. This is a great sporting fish. You can see where the hook is set. Watch the hooks. They got a tough mouth. Um, and that's how they feed. They just nose into the sand and they pick them crabs out of there or whatever they can find. Uh, there he goes. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bonefish. Got it. Got you. <laughs> All right, got it. Oh, yeah. Nice bone.
it's six o'clock here at Tano Beach Resort, and we're on board the Sunset Cruise. It's going to be about a two-hour little uh, trip. They've got some finger foods for everybody to eat. They got a little bit of rum punch and punch drinks, so uh, we're going to see what they're going to offer, and it ought to be a nice little uh, quiet, relaxing cruise. If a wave runner is your thing, hey, Tano Beach has got them. They have a tour, which is about a 20 mile round trip, and it uh, leaves from the beach every day at uh, 10 o'clock. I think that's the time, but anyway, uh, this is something that you need to do too. They've got some great equipment here, great wave runners. I might even try this myself. I'm at the uh, Tano Beach pool, and this is a great pool. It's got the lazy river, it's got a water slide, it's got volleyball. You can get in uh, tubing rafts right here, and the lazy river will take you all the way around. Uh, the entire pool is huge. But anyway, this is part of Tano Beach Resort, and uh, you gotta come and enjoy this pool because it's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> the fish fry started out to help a local resident who needed help to purchase their medicine. It soon became a charity and now is a weekly event with all proceeds going to the charity. This is Captain Luther, and this is the mate Russell, and we're going to be doing some sport fishing here uh, in a couple of days, and we're going to be running uh, about uh, three or four miles offshore. Who knows, we're going to fish her some mahi-mahi, there -mahi. might be some marlin in the area. Who knows, that's whatever's going to strike a bait, and that's what we're going after, and we're going to show you what the sport fishing is like here at Tano Beach in the Bahamas. We got a weed patch out here, and we took a spinning rod and put a piece of cut bait on it. And we got Janet Sims in a chair right here, who's becoming my associate producer.
I got some new sponsors that have come on board, and I want to thank them. One of them is Throw Raft, Scent Blazer Lures, and Procure. Thanks, guys, for coming on board and being part of the Saltwater Ventures family of sponsors. Look at them swimming right here, right here. Oh, my God, look at them. Go ahead, just get them on. Right now, Janet and Mario and I are here at the Lacayan National Park. We're going to walk through and kind of give you a brief glimpse of what the park is all about. So uh, it costs you $5 to get in unless you come with a tour bus or something like that. Then it's all included in your package. Is that right? I believe so. Okay. So right now, uh, we're going to take a look and uh, show you a little bit of the uh, Lucayan uh, National Park. What we got here is we got the snorkel boat going out and these trips go 10, 12, and 2.30. This right now is going out on a snorkel trip and then it'll probably be a couple hours and they'll be back in here.
you're into gambling, you can come to the Treasure Bay Casino, which is located right across the street from the Port Lacaya Marketplace. They got a lot of slots, they got a lot of different gaming tables, so if you're a gambler, hey, take a visit here at Treasure Bay Casino. Hello, Mario. Yeah. <laughs> here we are at the Port Lacaya Marketplace. Got some music going, you're all ready to go? I'm ready to go. All right. <laughs> With me is Mario Bodner, who is the project director for Taino Beach Resort. And here we are at Count Basie Square. Tell me about it and what's going on over here and what people can expect when they take the ferry from uh, Taino Beach. Okay, uh, the Port Lacaya Marketplace is actually like the, the, the big area in, this, in the Freeport areas to come to for tourism. And we have, of course, the marina here, and we have a, a lot of slips and a lot of boats coming from Lauderdale and, and uh, all over the place, really. But there's restaurants and shops and... Uh, you know, we get conch salad here, and, and there's even a pizza hut here now. It's all, uh, there's always new stores coming in here, so it's, there's lots to do. Cor behind us is Count Basie Square, where they have shows three nights a week, and it's, and it's pretty cool with the limbo dancers who seem to defy gravity and all. So it's a lot of fun. Everybody comes here on our ferry boat and goes back on the hour, so it's a, you know, a must-see thing to do when you get down here. Just one other thing for you to do for an activity when you come to Taino Beach Resort here in the Bahamas. I'm on Taino Beach right now, and they've got the traditional bonfire that they have here on uh, Tuesday nights. Now, later on, they're going to move inside, uh, and they're going to have some games. They're going to have a fire uh, dancer. They're going to have a bunch of other things going on here. But uh, this is kind of the high point of the night is this uh, bonfire, which is right out here on the beach. Mario, first off, I want to congratulate you on a beautiful property here at Taino Beach and located in Freeport, a magnificent resort that you have. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. It's, uh, we're very proud of it, and we're glad you guys uh, came here, too. We had a lot of fun. Tell me about Taino Beach Resort. It's a, a beachfront property here. It's a, you know, it's a gated resort with a private beach, so it's a, just our guests here, so it has a nice uh, ambiance to it. All right, and you have uh, sales rentals? Yeah, we do, we do uh, timeshare sales here. That's, uh, that's sort of self-evolved over the years. And there's also rentals and, and the RCI exchanges. So we have a good group of uh, diverse people coming here and staying here all the time. And uh, how many rooms do you have? The property is 157 rooms. And that's a good-sized property for this island. And uh, it's, it's easier to manage and still has a, a degree of intimacy, like a small resort. So it's, that's fun. On behalf of myself, John and Janet, we want to thank you very much for hosting this uh, episode of uh, Saltwater Ventures, the TV series. Well, thank you very much. It was a pleasure having you guys. It was fun to work with, and uh, the fishing seemed good, and of course, we went everywhere on the island, so I think you guys got some good footage. It should be a good show. Uh, well, yeah, it will be. Will be. From uh, Tano Beach Resort and clubs here in uh, Freeport, Bahama, we want to thank you all for watching. David Hack, Saltwater Ventures has been brought to you by Tano Beach Resort and Clubs. Bahamas Air. Raft. Procure Bait Sense, Scent Blazer Lures, Banana Boat, Ruger, Orvis Sporting Traditions, P-Line, Waya Reels, Hook and Tackle, Flambo Outdoors, Dexter, The Edge Since 1818, Real Hot Lures, Cables, Coleman, GoPro, Tsunami, Lowpro, Stearns, Pelican Stormcase, Echo. For information, visit TainoBeach.com or 1-800-824-6623. For Bahamas Air, visit BahamasAir.com or 1-800-222-4262. Special thanks to all the following.
log on to saltwaterventures.com for sponsors, advertisers, and resort information. For questions about the show, email svtv at bellsouth.net. This is Toad Truck Mike Murray on behalf of the Saltwater Ventures crew. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>